Hello everyone, I'm Molly here with Rose City RV of Michigan and today we're going to take a look at this Rockwood 2511S. Is this a correct model for you, you might ask? Here are five key specifications to help you decide. This model sleeps two people, has a weight of 5,800 pounds, the overall length is 25 feet 10 inches, it has a height of 10 feet 11 inches and features two slide outs. So let's take a look inside. So moving into the bedroom here, we have our wardrobe slide located here. Obviously you can tell this is a single queen size bed. So in our wardrobe slide, we have some nice shelving here, some nice hang space on this side, both his and hers or just hers if that's how that goes. We have outlets next to the bed on both sides, which is a big benefit, especially now with people in their um, CPAP machines and charging devices. So you can use that for either. There's also the 12 volt plug located right there. And then next to that, we have a uh, switch as well, which is a light switch right next to the bed here, which is a nice dimming function. And then right underneath of here, we have our inverter remote location. So you can just see the voltage, turn it on and off if you're camping off grid and you want to use those 110 functions. Underneath of here, we have some nice drawers. The bed also lifts up, gives us some storage there. So you get one, two, three drawers there as well. Rockwood also uses, uses a better mattress than most brands. Um, this is definitely much better out of the box than the others then moving over to this side we also give you a drawer here which i know many of you might say why would you need that but it's just another way that rockwood gives you all the storage that's available space so that's nice tv backer here with our hookups as well so that's a plus there if you're somebody who likes to watch tv in the bedroom and then we have our overhead storage and more hang space on the side here if, if you need be. Then we also have a standard vent here. They do allow you to option a max fan there if you're interested. We don't do it just to help keep the cost down, but that is an option, especially if you camp off grid. That 12 volt large fan is nice. We also have four air ducts in the bedroom here, so that gives you good air movement throughout the coach, which is nice. This is also an extra large walkway area here with a pocket door. So when it is in the open function, you're just walking through here, you're definitely not bumping into anything because it's nice and wide and that door closes to give you that separation if you would like. Now this is a couple's coach, so not typically gonna have guests sleeping in here. Um, but there is an open floor space if that's something you're interested in, you could do. Next to the cabinet here, we have our countertop extension. So just gives you that little extra bit of counter space. It is nice, and that's the same material, solid surface, which is also very nice. One big farmhouse style sink which we like so you're not fighting those pots and pans or large dishes when you're having the crew out and around the campsite. Some storage here and then three drawers here, which is nice. And we have our furnace located underneath of here and those are gonna be ducted throughout. They are no longer putting registers in the floor. So that's actually a really nice feature because they build dirt up, obviously, dog hair, whatever gets inside of them. It blows that air around that's dirty, which is not fun either. And also, it makes the floor weaker where you have those vents. And that's something we've learned over the years. So that's nice to see that they're not doing that anymore. We have our three burner cooktop with our um, gas oven here. I believe this is a 21-inch oven, which is going to be what you see in all of them. And then these have the... Um, sparkers built in so no more needing the lighter as well as these are thermocoupled so if you accidentally bump this it is not going to emit gas unless there's a flame so that's a nice feature it also illuminates red when the gas function is on so if you are operating this oven um, on accident like a lot of people um, I can count countless times where I've gone into a trailer and it just reeks of propane because somebody's accidentally bumped into that and not known and left that on. So no more issue that way. Up here we have a vent fan and a light as well. 
And then we have our convection microwave um, by Magic Chef. And Rockwood really is the only one that uses brand name Magic Chef. Okay, so we also have a couple 110 outlets located here, which are nice. So they're not shortening on the outlets because everyone knows you need more outlets in the kitchen area. And then we have our 30 amp solar controller. So this is going to be voltage regulating from the solar panel on the roof down to your batteries to keep that at the right voltage so everything works the way it should. Now moving over here we have a 110 fireplace. These do emit heat as well so those are nice to take the morning chill off. I always tell people don't run them non-stop in place of your furnace. That's not what they're designed for and they won't last if that's what you use them for. If it's cold turn the furnace on. If it's, you know, 60 degrees in the morning, you just want to kick that on while you're having coffee just to kind of take the chill off. That's exactly what it's good for. So, we also have a 12-volt TV here. All um, Rockwood product now, to my knowledge, comes with a 12-volt TV, which is nice. So, if you're off-grid, you can still use it. It also has a built-in soundbar by JBL, and it actually is very nice. Sounds good. Um, and it has a radio built into the TV, which emits to the outside speaker. So that's nice as well, because most people spend their time outside under the awning. So if we move this out of the way, you can see on this side, we also have a 110 outlet. We have our TV booster and radio booster there, as you can see. So if your radio or your TV is not getting proper signal, make sure that's in the on position and make sure these are good and tight and they don't usually come tight. Um, and if your dealer didn't tighten them for you, it's probably a loose connection. That's a common thing. And then we have, um, like I said, another 110 outlet there, which if you wanted to put a 110 TV in or change that or use it for something else, you can. So that's nice. And then a swivel bracket on that TV so we can turn it wherever we want when we're watching. And that just pushes like that for travel. You want to get that snapped into place like I did there. We have some nice storage here as well. Then we have our 12 volt 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. This is a dual side handle release. So this refrigerator can be opened from either side. Now one thing to keep in mind, you get that all the way latched because if you don't, this door will come right off, okay? So make sure we get those latched. Same thing on the freezer. This is also a Magic Chef, which is a nice quality item. We've been happy with these. And then you do have a temperature adjustment up here. Now, this theater seating, these are a really cool feature. They've added these tables kind of wherever they can. As you can see, this one's on here. It's adjustable in multiple different locations. All you have to do is unthread that, lift it up, and it comes right off of there if you don't want these. Um, but it doubles as your table, so you don't need a table when you're in here, which is definitely handy. And then we also have our um, charging section here so you can just set your phone down if you have a charging case which i do not um but that'll charge for you while you're sitting on the couch so that's definitely a nice feature as well and then the handle to our recliners is down here um so if you are wondering how do i recline this sofa you kind of got to know where this handle is um, but all you do there is just pull it up and to put it down you just kick the plate like so and then we've got some storage in here as well. And then some overhead cabinet space, emergency exit window, slider window in the slide, and then 12 volt LED light overhead. That's operated by that push button. And now we we'll move into the bathroom. The bathroom uses the same opening as the bedroom, which is nice and big with this slider door, pocket door, whatever you want to call it, but gets totally out of the way. So for a 26 foot unit, this really has a lot of open space feel. This is one of our best sellers um, as it fits a lot of the bill for a lot of people. One thing Rockwood does I like, they position their toilet in all their models 
to sit comfortably in the best position. As you can see, it's not going to be straight to the wall, straight to there, but in a way that you have the most room, which for a lot of people, um, it's one of those things you just don't think about until you're using it. This model also has our tri-slide um, shower doors. So it really makes it feel big. As you can see, they're glass so you can see right through them. Just remember, we are getting this latch before we travel because these doors will rattle around, smash and break, and they will not cover it. So make sure you're latching that before you travel. Then this model, just like all Rockwoods, features the shower miser, which is the water saving technique, which we have another video for that, or we will have another video for that. Um, and we can link that as well if you're wondering how that works. So it's a pretty simple concept, but it works really well at saving water. Then we have a skylight in the shower. If you're a taller person, um, that gives you that extra bit of headroom, which is definitely nice. Over here, we have a nice illumination light on the bottom here that you probably don't notice unless it's uh, night time outside and that's really a nice night light so you're not tripping and falling it in the middle of the night there and that's on a switch located here right next to our gfi outlet which is gonna be a, the resettable outlet for the outside and for the kitchen area here so that's where you'll reset that we have some storage underneath of the sink here we have some storage in our vanity area we have some storage next to those are great uh linen locations it's nice and deep and then we have a max fan located right here so one through four settings on that those babies move a lot of air that's what i was referring to in the bedroom you can option that in the bedroom as well um, if you do a lot of rustic camping, you cannot beat them as far as the air movement that you get. Even without that one in the bedroom, if you just open that vent and turn this one on because this draws the air, it will draw air right through here wonderfully. So moving to next to the door here, we have our converter location here. This is a really nice location for the converter. It's right when you walk in the door. So if you have a malfunction, you're not fighting to get to it beyond a slide like you have on a lot of models. We have a furnace duct located here another 110 outlet here and then our monitor panel here as you can tell it's illuminated right now this has the motion sensor right there so when we're not standing here this will be dark but when you walk by or wave your hand in front of it it lights up blue is going to be on white are going to be off obviously we have all the lights on so those are going to be illuminated blue then we have our awning settings and our uh, retract and extend button here and then our slide functions here as well in and out for both of those with a little bit of storage here this also has a coat closet so you can remove these shelves very simply by just taking them out if you would like you can convert that into a regular closet or you can use it as the shelf space next to here we have our new coleman mock thermostat these are pretty new on the market we went over this um, in a different video but you can um, use this like a regular thermostat like all the other ones this is now just a digital format that works nicely when you first hit the button here it'll illuminate for you um, yes it's hot out so it's 89 degrees in here and then to function that you can cycle through like i said we have another video for that but those are nice we're happy with those so far looking at the ceiling you can see our air conditioner located there it is a coleman mock um, and it has the two air grates on the side, which is for the return air, so those are gonna have filters in them. Make sure you're cleaning your filters, regardless of what air conditioner you have. If it's getting a lot of use, clean those filters, it'll help your air conditioner last. And then you have some louvered vents here. So in the open position, it'll force the air right here. In the closed position, it will come directly out of these nice white air conditioner vents located here. So you can evenly distribute it throughout the coach. All right, let's go outside. Starting right here on the back of the coach, we have this little step light located here. That's gonna be on the monitor panel. That's a nice function for at night when you're outside. Going in and out, you can be illuminating. Then we have our jacks. They are power. We option these power, so extend and retract, pretty simple. You're gonna have the same as the front and the back. Now, Rockwood uses what they call PSX2s. Those are going to be the higher quality, better functioning jacks. Um, I like those the best out of all of them. The PSX1s are not bad at all. They've come a long way, but the 2s are definitely better quality, heavier duty. But just like anything, you're going to pay more for that. 
We have our Moride solid step. So this is a nice feature. You've been seeing these for multiple years now. These ones have a shock assist here. Not many models do that. Um, it just kind of makes the step lighter, picks it up for you, which we all like. And then it has a wider top step. So just makes you more comfortable when you're, you're getting to the door. Behind the door here, we have our TV hookups. So that's going to be if you have cable or satellite, you can hook up to the outside TV. That's what that bracket is for. It comes with the bracket that goes on the back of the TV. You can put the TV there and plug in here. This is our grill rail or our table rail. So you can um, cook outside. Our quick disconnect is on that one. So I would say grill on there, table on here, which is nice. Gives you that extra set of hands if you don't carry a table around with you. Then we have our Goodyear Endurance tires. A lot of brands are doing those now with our aluminum rims. Um, just, they look really nice and they have a high quality tire on them. So that's a plus. We have our furnace exhaust here, so remember, don't put anything in front of that. If your furnace is on, it will catch things on fire, it gets very hot. Then we have our gas electric six gallon uh, suburban water heater. Um, gas function and electric function are both inside on the monitor panel on this model. And pretty much Rockwood as a whole has gone to that now. They used to put an additional 110 switch out here. Um, right in that location so a lot of them were double switched this one is not and they kind of got away from that which is nice um, so you're not flipping that extra switch but if you forget and blast your element that's that's kind of what the double switch was for so you don't turn it on without water and toast your element so again grill rail here and then we have our quick disconnect located up underneath of there then we have our additional jack switch. So the one in the back is gonna be for the back. The one up here is gonna do the front ones. We have nice big pass-through storage on this model. That's another th reason that this model sells so well. That's huge storage for a travel trailer. Um, you didn't used to see that. And that's why, like I said, I think this one does so well. So don't mind all the stuff. We just have all the goodies in here. These are nice sink mats. I didn't, don't think I mentioned this, but that big farmhouse sink, these can sit over top. So you can use these as countertop space if you're not using the sink, which is nice because it doesn't have a whole lot of countertop space. Then we have a solar on the side option here. So if you are wanting to run an additional panel, um, one that you can be mobile with, move it around in the sun if you're parked under the trees, just one thing to remember about this, make sure you are getting a panel with a voltage regulator attached because this will not regulate the voltage. This does not go through the controller, it goes straight to the battery. So make sure you do that. Coming around to the front side here, we have our seven way holder, which is nice. And then we have our um, safety chain holders attached to that. Just a cleaner application, looks good, stores them out of the dirt so they're not hanging around. Front light on this front jack, and then our switch here with our manual override on top. They give you the crank handles for that as well. So dual battery box on this and all the Rockwoods now, which is nice. So you can put, you can start with two batteries if you want. Um, they also come with a battery disconnect switch already on here. So, and those on pretty much every Rockwood I've ever seen are all underneath of the propane tank. So if you're wondering where is my battery disconnect switch, it is right under here. You really can't see it. You got to kind of feel for it unless you kind of stand on your head to look. But that's a nice thing because it keeps it out of the weather for you so you don't have to worry about corrosion. We have our docking lights here and we have our city water connection and our antifreeze inlet. So if you go to the campground that has a water hookup for you, you're going to hook your hose straight up to that and it'll use the pressure off the hose to feed your inside faucets, toilet showers. Then we have antifreeze inlet. So that's going to be um, directly to the water pump that allows you to keep your antifreeze jug on the outside of the coach. Just kind of helps it be a cleaner application, which we like. Then you have a magnet here, same on the other side for this nice big pass-through storage. So nice click magnet, you don't have to worry about that and it stays pretty nice and firm there. 
I'm sure a big gust of wind could push it if it wanted, but for the most part, it's good. Then we have our city water or our fresh water fill here. So that's where you're gonna drop the hose in, fill the onboard tank. They've went to the larger freshwater drains, which this one kind of hides underneath of this drop frame there. Um, but that's gonna be, I think they're inch and a half, so you can drain that fresh water tank when you're done using it much faster than you used to be able to, which we like. Then you have um, two different um, gray tanks on this model. So if you look, which you can't really see, but that's gonna be the kitchen one located here. Okay, and then in the back we have the bathroom on its own gray tank. So that's got a discharge over here and then also for the toilet as well. Now we have some storage here that we pass through or pass by when we walk by. I like this, I call it the fishing rod storage because it goes all the way up. This is the back side of the refrigerator there. So it's not wasted space. Just like I mentioned before, Rockwood always does a good job at using all the space. So you can put hot dog cookers, fishing poles, whatever you want, but it goes up to the slide. So lots of room in there for those items. And then we have our 30 amp power hookup located there. And then cable satellite input there that feeds the coach and the bedroom, uh, living room area, and then the outside port there for that TV that we mentioned. Moving along here, we have our spare tire right under here. We have our outside shower, which is also a quick disconnect. So that's nice. Um, you can wash the dog, wash your feet, whatever you want to do there. Then we have our black tank flush. I like that they put these in separate locations from the city water connection. So you don't accidentally hook up your black tank flush and get it confused for your city water connection. That's a disaster. Always make sure you're paying attention when you hook up your hose so you don't make that mistake. Cause there's only one place for it to come out if your gate valve isn't open and that's out the toilet. So don't let that happen to you. Pay attention when you're hooking up your city water or your black tank flush. Then we have our um, regular RV ladder already installed here, 250 pound capacity. So that's there for you as well. And then underneath of here, we have our two inch receiver right into the frame. You're not meant to be towing anything with this. However, it's made for bike racks, cargo racks. You can take the generator, take your bikes, whatever you wanna do, but it has a much more, uh, much higher capacity f than the, the um, square stock bumper that you typically see people put their bikes on. Um, I've been doing this a long time. I've seen a lot of people bend their bumpers just by overweighting them. So no more with that. You have the, the two inch receiver there and you can put much more uh, heavier weighted items there. Now that's gonna do it for the 2511 Rockwood video. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to see more like it.